Hello everybody, this is Randy, Kilo November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate the uh, MFJ Rig Pi version 2 image loaded onto a Raspberry Pi interface with the uh, Yatsu FT991A. Just a quick demonstration. Uh, my whole goal of this was to be able to remotely operate my FT991A. I only use a 991A on VHF, UHF for local repeaters. As many of you know, I'm, I'm, I love the flex radio. I use a flex for HF. So essentially what happened was back in April, um, many of you know my, I had problems with my radio and had to send it back to uh, California under warranty. They changed the motherboard and sent it back. It worked a month and then the same thing, USB went out and they sent it back. But anyways, while I was in uh, California, I was trying to figure out how I could do this. So at the Ham Huntsville Ham Fest in August, I did some talking around and was introduced into the, what they call the MFJ1234B. Uh, it's a RigPi remote station ser server. Now, I started to purchase this thing, but I started doing some research, and as I looked at it, it was a Raspberry Pi Model 4B. Well, I had one of them sitting around, and I think the one I have actually has 8 gigabyte of RAM. So, I started to realize with the FT991A, it has an internal sound card. This unit is great for older radios that don't have a sound card. It'll work great for them. But if your radio is pretty late and it has an internal sound card, you really don't need that. Uh, so what I did, I went out, and this is exactly the uh, Raspberry Pi I have uh, that I have everything loaded onto. I think I paid, that's $109. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it's probably close to that. Um, so the second thing I needed was very important was to purchase the image from MFJ. So I went to the MFJ website, downloaded, paid for the uh, operating system version 2. Now, just a note, uh, today they announced they have a th version 3 coming out in November. So anyways, uh, this is going to be just a quick demo. Um, this is kind of what it looks like, right, when you run in the uh, web app of the uh, RigPi. Um, this one's set up to my particular configuration. Um, I just use the uh, repeaters, uh, local repeaters. Um, so what I essentially do is I program all the repeaters in my memory channels and, and then I have the repeaters. I don't have anything else loaded on it. But I did, you know, update the macros to match the repeaters and uh, add other options. For example, setting a squelch to 30 or if I'm doing some testing, want to see the sound, I go to zero. I can scan up. I can stop the scan. I can power on, power off um, from the web app. Uh, kind of basic setup. You go to settings and you come up with the raid basic radio and I got my radio loaded in here. Uh, the key to getting it work is make sure you got the R port identified to the uh, uh, the driver, the USB driver from the radio. That's the key to make sure you have that done. And you can actually, once you've got it set up, you can hit connect radio. Uh, here's an advanced uh, view of the radio setup. Uh, essentially, the only thing I set up was the radio and the uh, R port. Uh, baud rate's important. Uh, of course, there's a configuration on the menus. You got to make sure you get all the uh, mic uh, going to the rear in, in your setup. And I will go through detail in another video on how to do that. But for your FM, AM, uh, sideband, uh, and your mic selection in your main menu of the radio, just uh, make sure you got the rear port selected. Uh, another big key of this rig pie is being able to set up the uh, the macros. The macros is a key, and it took me a you know a day to figure it out. But I set macros up. For example, I have a test frequency uh, that I have. I set on memory one. Here's the exact macro I use to go to that memory slot number one. Uh, my number two uh, memory slot is a, another test frequency. Uh, these are all simplex, and I code it as follows. If you'll notice, the only thing difference between the first one and the second one is this 31 here, 32 here. So, uh, and it's easy, and so on and so forth, all the way down. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 
And then once you go to 40, uh, well, I, just experimenting, and I figured out you just up this one number from 30 to 31 and start back to zero. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up the um, radio. Um, it's running. Uh, right now I have it on scan. Let me go ahead. I'm going to hook up the audio now. I turned it off so I could do this. And I'm going to connect the audio to it. And right now I have it on scan. Um, you can actually um, I'll turn the audio up. I'm just running right out of the speakers to my mic. Um, but you can actually, I stop, I can set stop scan, then I can go to individual frequencies. Um, and I'll demo it here in a second. It takes about two seconds for it to show up on the web when you select a new frequency. Now this here is my, um, my demo, uh, my test frequency that I use, um, and this is how I test it out, but you, I have a, uh, my little radio and I set up same frequency and I just test the audio coming out to the mic and to make sure it works. Uh, you can also see uh, in the uh, screen, the uh, picture of my radio screen and kind of watch it. So these are all the, t all the repeaters I have set up. I've tested it, it works, it works great. Now, um, one other demonstration I want to do for you, and I'll do it here in a second, is to do this on my phone. Uh, my idea is, you know, if I'm deployed, if I go somewhere, if I'm going down to Orange Beach, you know, I have my HF. I could do everything on HF on my flex radio. So I wanted the same capabilities with my 991. Um, I have a laptop. I have a, actually, it's a Dell um, um, tablet laptop. It's, it's a 15 inch. It works really great. Um, so I can do the same thing on that laptop. I could be running both a uh, the flex running on one screen one side of the screen and I can run the uh, 991 on the other side of it uh, If I want to use my cell phone, I have a, a Samsung Galaxy uh, S9 phone It works great on it, too. So um, I'll try to do a demo of the phone later uh, but anyways, and then I'm going to have a follow-up uh, video, basically how to do it, how to set up your FT991A, how to, how to load up the Rig Pi. Uh, one thing I want to mention is, um, you know, SD cards. Now, I know I use a lot of Rig, uh, excuse me, not Rig, but uh, um, Raspberries. I got media servers. And one thing I realized and found out is if you advertently shut it down without it powering down, uh, booting down you could corrupt the SD card and I didn't want this in this situation so what I did is I loaded it up on I had a couple spare uh, solid-state drives much faster uh, loads quicker and if you ever really shut power down it'll boot right back up and be right where you were when you left off so anyways uh, well just to do a real quick demonstration uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the scan uh, let's see if I can go to one of these repeaters and get it to hang head up here. Uh, here's a W4HSV. So all I'm going to do to key to key the uh, radio, you uh, click on PTT and then release it. Um, so there, it hits repeater. Um, I also have a test frequency. I go here. I'll just use my little handheld. I might get some feedback if the mics are so close, but this is a test. Kilo November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha, testing 1, 2, 3. And that worked. So here I'm going to try to demonstrate uh, it running. I've got it, uh, I've got it set up on a DDNS. Um, but I've got it run on my Samsung S9. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and run it to my test frequency. Go to my test frequency. Okay, I'm there. I'll turn on my handheld. 
and I'll try to key it. See what happens. This is Kilo number four, Yankee Bravo Alpha, doing a test. One, two, three. Kilo November four, Yankee Bravo Alpha out. And it works. It's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, if I want to check the audio, like I said, I just turn the squelch off and then turn it back on. Uh, select whichever frequency I want. Um, and it works well. This is my short demonstrations. If you have any questions, uh, want anything from me, feel free to email me at admin at kn4yb8.com. Have a great day. 73's to you.